Yo, welcome to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we're gonna be covering the siding. And there are a lot of different ways to do this. You could leave it if it was a brand new container. In our case, we're doing something a little different. And uh, we're gonna show you what we're doing and how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. installing whatever type of siding you're, you are installing, um, you're gonna need something to screw to. And you wanna make as few penetrations through this metal siding as possible. So when doing so, there's a lot of different ways you could do this, but this is just a simple way that we figured out to do it. Um, we're using pressure treated two by six that we cut in half to turn it into only about two and three quarter inches wide, each one. So it was the best way we can maximize the amount of material. So we've cut them to size so they sit inside these valleys on the corrugated steel. So what we did was we just found that dimension right there on the, in the middle and we ripped these down to fit inside there. And what we're doing is using a really high quality adhesive, pretty much the same adhesive we're using everywhere, which is this uh, Loctite PL Pro you get this over at Home Depot, we can link to it um, in the description for the video. But what we're doing is we're kind of taking the glue, and I'll actually do this one. Sorry, we got one over here installing right now with us. So what I'll do is I'll actually take this glue and I'll put a stream right up the whole thing. And I like to do these little S turns so I make sure it covers all over. And we would go all the way up to the top, but I'm only five foot 10, not seven foot. So I won't get all the way up there unless I'm on a ladder. But what we do is then take this, stick it into that valley, and we're tacking a screw down at the bottom and one at the top. And then this glue, once it dries, there's actually a video where they took this glue, they glued something to the side of a container and then used a bottle jack and lifted it with only the glue. So this stuff is seriously stronger than nails or screws. So once this stuff dries, you don't have to worry about that coming off. And what we're gonna do afterwards is still take the same glue and use it as a sealant down, once this thing's in here, we're gonna run it down the sides and like caulk it in so that it seals it so no water can get behind it. Okay, so what we wanna go ahead and do too, depending on the type of screw you use, we like these hex heads. Um, they're just really, really heavy duty screws that are going through here. Um, but they have to be some type of coated or stainless or something that's not gonna rust and corrode over time. Even though we're 100% really relying on that glue, you still wanna make sure that just every part of it is built to last. So what you, what you wanna do is, when you know they grabbed really well, when you can actually pull it through the wood, but just try and set them so they're not sticking out really far so that when your next phase that goes over the top of this is setting on that screw and causes something not to sit right. So just make sure you set it all the way and that's also gonna verify that it's really grabbed into the metal behind it. All right, siding's done. So what you can see is there's so many different variations of siding you can do. And what we went ahead and did is installed multiple different ones so you can see. Everything is installed over those wood two by threes essentially that we glued and screwed into the siding. We've got, uh, we've got wood siding, tongue and groove, that we nailed to our, our nailers behind here. Then we switched over to galvanized roofing which we started at the bottom and overlaps. All the water runs over the seams, you know, and can't get behind them. Um, this galvanized roofing, again, is just screwed right into those, those wood pieces that we put behind, screwed to the metal. And then we've got all of our aluminum window sills back to the galvanized steel. And then we put in a cool accent piece, which is all made out of, I believe this is PVC based, but it's Trex decking boards. They're 100% waterproof, weatherproof, virtually maintenance-free 
uh, cool alternative. They're super expensive, $26 a board. So you got to make sure if you're using this that you're willing to pay for it. But we wanted to go as maintenance free as possible and also show you a variety of different sidings of what we can do, what you can do at home. So uh, if there's anything we missed, if there's anything you want us to specifically cover as far as siding's concerned, make sure to hit those comments. Other than that, other than that please subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Okay, so this is siding. I don't know what else I'm gonna say about it. Chickity check, 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 check one, two. Dude, should I wear a hat? No hat. Hat? No hat. Hat? No hat. I really don't care. <laughs> is it raining? Okay. I just drooled. Oh, it is raining. It is actually raining right now. I thought he was lying. Um, I feel like you just circled me in. Now I'm like confined in this little area.